Approximately 560 meters away is the location we took the greatest whitetail I have ever found in the hunter call of the wild. Greater than any great one and more majestic than any of the super rare pie balls that we have found in the past. This guy was an absolute beast and he just happened to be the very first albino diamond whitetail that I've ever found in my entire time playing the hunter call of the wild. Now you guys know that I have been searching for not only super rare whitetail but red deer as well and though I have had over 10,000, probably even 11,000 red deer kills at this point, I still don't have a super rare for them. But somehow I've managed to get three super rares for whitetail. I just feel like I've always had better luck with the whitetail considering we also have four great ones and for red deer we only have two great ones but we've got about the same amount of kills between both of them. So I guess I just have the luck with the whitetail and unfortunately not with the red deer which are my favorite species in the entire game so it's a bit unfortunate I don't get quite the same amount of luck with them but my gosh I am incredibly happy to finally have found probably my top want for a whitetail. This has by far been what I have been looking for the most out of every possibility that you could imagine with the whitetail deer. The only thing that I could think of that would be a little bit more exciting is if I could find the typical looking rack for the great one. But this guy right here is probably the best thing that we will find for a very long time and before we take a look at him, let's go to the location where we ended up spotting him. We have finally reached the location where we managed to take down this absolute giant of a whitetail deer. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take out a couple others while we're here just real quickly. Since we are already in the process of kind of moving through this area. I originally was searching these areas to find out where I needed to place my tents. And I ended up catching a glimpse of a rack that uh, looked to be a pretty good one. And then I realized that it was also on an albino. And obviously that immediately took my attention and I was at the time just relaxing watching a Kill Clinton stream and uh, trying to find all the locations that I needed to put my tents for this Rev on Tuli grind and then just out of nowhere I see that guy and my first thought is oh this could probably be a nice 230s albino this will probably be one of my better whitetail deer little did I know that it was going to be something so much more incredible and I think it's time that we just jump in and take a look at everything that happened. I am almost positive that that was a large albino. Okay, there it is. There it. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, I swear if this is a level three. That honestly looks like the level three rack. I was just hanging out here watching a Kill Clinton stream and kind of setting up our Rev on Tuli Coast. And I just see that giant run across that looks to be at least a 230s whitetail. I'm hoping it'll be even bigger than that. It definitely looks like it could be pretty big, but we won't really know till we can actually get a spotting on it as the only thing that I can really go off of as of now is the fact that it does have kind of like the faded color in the tips of the tines. But that looks like an absolute giant whitetail that might be my biggest albino ever. Now we're not going to really know exactly how big until we can actually get up on it, but it definitely has potential to be a monster. But unfortunately the wind is in a terrible direction, so I don't expect this to be super easy and... I've kind of been uh, playing a lot of Way of the Hunter as of recent since I'm currently preparing for the early access uh, embargo to lift so I can actually post the footage. And uh, well, I've been kind of in the, the play style of Way of the Hunter so it's uh, been a little bit difficult kind of going back and forth between the two games since they play quite different. <gasps> oh my no, he is a three! Oh my gosh, he is a three! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I don't think... <laughs> so we've only shot maybe like 20 or 30 whitetail on the uh, the whitetail great one grind and we already have my first ever albino level 3 whitetail. We've had two piebald super rares in the past but never an albino. I hope this thing makes diamond. There is a very very small chance that rack control. So I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but that very well might be a super rare. And if so, I could make an entire multi-mount of just super rare whitetail. That could be incredible if we can make it happen, though I don't know where he's gone. He kind of ran off after he got uh, winded from us, so that's not good, but oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Oh my gosh, there he is right there. Oh my gosh, there he is. Okay, we need to prone. 
I don't want to spook him off again since he's actually in a semi-decent location uh, with the wind not going completely downwind. So that's a good thing. Let's just hope that he calms down and starts to come back in this direction. If he does, that'll be perfect. I hear footsteps, but I don't know if it's him. Okay, it's definitely not him. That is a doe. We gotta be extra careful that we don't spook him off. I don't want to have to continue chasing him as we've had quite a few trophies in the past that just took way longer than they should have to get down. That's him right there. If we can just... Oh my gosh, he's down. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, we actually got him down without anything bad happening. That is absolutely insane. I hope this guy makes it. I think he should. I think he should. I also never thought that I'd get a uh, albino diamond whitetail before. Red deer, considering we've been doing some insane herge management with the red deer, but it seems like the whitetail might be our first ever, and it, it definitely looks like it. That is a giant right there. Now, we want to get a quick picture, but I don't want to crash the game. I've heard of people getting their game to uh, crash by using the camera. <laughs> it's a diamond! Oh my gosh. No way! It's actually a diamond. That might be the most insane super rare I've ever got, and it actually has a good rack as well. That is absolutely incredible. Gosh, I can't believe that we got this before we got a super rare red deer. That just doesn't make sense. We have killed over 250 al- or not albino, but we've killed over 250 diamond red deer and no super rares. We've been trolled twice by level 9 piebalds, but never got a super rare. And this is now my third whitetail super rare, and I've got roughly the same amount of kills. Which is kind of crazy. Honestly, I've always felt like my whitetail luck is just better than my red deer luck. And uh, I think that is continuing to be the trend, so hopefully we will get this great one really soon. Because uh, we're already off to quite the insane start. And honestly, this is probably the best rack we could have got. This is my favorite rack for the whitetail deer. Even though it's not super big, like it's nowhere near being the biggest a whitetail can get, this is definitely my favorite of the different diamond racks. This one looks so nice and is probably the closest to being realistic, I'd say. So that is incredible. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say at this point. Honestly, I just want to take a look at this thing in the lodge, like right now. You know, I never thought I would have to choose between a great one or an albino diamond for a multi-mount, but I think it's a pretty obvious choice right here. We are going to take out this great one from this multi-mount and add our albino diamond to it because, to be honest, I'm a little bit more excited about that. So, let's try to figure out where this is going to be in our trophy manager and then we will make the brand new mount because that is incredible. This is now probably one of the best mounts we have in this entire lodge. A multi-mount of all super rare whitetail deer. This has to be the most impressive thing that we have ever managed to accomplish. I know getting that fully albino mount was probably a uh, one that was pretty high on the list of accomplishments that we've had, but I honestly don't think anything can top this. Even our great one multi-mount or our great one red deer come nowhere close to three super rare whitetail. And now we've got to find a way to fit our great one, and I think this is going to be the place to do it. Though, I believe that this was for some type of special occasion, though I can't really remember what it was. I think we will replace it, but if any of you can remember why we put this guy here, let me know in the comments down below, because I definitely can't remember. And, uh, well, if possible, I'd like to figure out exactly why we had such an average blacktail here. But there it is, there is our... Great one, Whitetail Deer. Unfortunately, this is the one that we got uh, first. This was the very first great one we ever killed, and because of that, it was shot on Rancho during the time period where there was some weird stuff going on with fur types, and then whenever they updated to fix the weird issues with fur types, it caused this guy to go from a common to a piebald. If you guys are curious about that whole issue that happened for a while, I've got an entire video on the channel talking about it, so uh, you should be able to find it just by searching uh, Scarecrow, uh, why I now have a piebald great one, because, uh, that will kind of explain what happened shortly after the Rancho release that caused this guy to turn piebald, but he's no longer a centerpiece of our lodge as we now have this beautiful super rare whitetail mount instead of, uh, being two super rares and a great one. 
And honestly, this is something that I've been striving to complete ever since we started playing uh, Rancho Del Arroyo and grinding the Great Ones super heavily. This is something I had always wanted, and the fact that we finally got it is incredible. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know down below, and I will try to respond to as many of the comments as possible. Also, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell if you guys want to keep up to date with everything on the channel. There's going to be a lot of uh, Call of the Wild content on Grinds, as well as a ton of Way of the Hunter content coming up very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!